Carl City, so they're not decided yet. Let's go to 155, 167 pounds. We'll be watching the 1A match between Brian Benning of Ackley Geneva and John Corey of Coon Rapids. Corey is undefeated. He was a champion two years ago. Corey is on the left with the vertical stripe and a dark green uniform. Circle. Benning Circle. of Ackley Geneva, who's 31 and three to this point this year, is in the purple. Up at 2A, it's Mark Friesner of Esterville in the corner there against Circle Eric Eggers. Eggers of State Center, another undefeated wrestler for the West Marshall team. And at AAA, it'll be Bart Chelsvig of Webster City, who's one of the real junior prospects here. This is one of the scouts that come to see, and he's only an 11th grader against Aaron Chambers of Marshalltown, and Marshalltown could take the lead in the team score if they could get somebody past Chelsvig. They need this match, don't they? Well, the one we're going to watch is going to be of interest to us because John Corey, the man from Coon Rapids there with the stripe that you see, was a state champion two years ago. And then last year, came back, got fifth. So he's coming back now trying to win. He said the referee right there, you saw him, said he'd been warned for backing off. So he came right in on the leg. He countered with a takedown of his own against uh, Brian Benning from Acme, Geneva. That's two to nothing. Well, John Corey from Coon Rapids has a lot more length than Brian Benning. Brian Benning's sort of a short, stocky 167-pounder. He's only a sophomore, and uh, sometimes when you don't have that length, you know, and you, you're not accustomed to being in there, that can really work to a disadvantage. Corey of Coon Rapids undefeated in 33 matches this year. He got to the finals with three one-sided victories, nine to nothing in his first match, six to nothing in his second, and 12 to four over previously undefeated Pat Kelly of Britt in the semifinal round. Well, he's pretty good on, his, on the top position. And of course, Benning has a strength that's on his feet. He prefers to be back up on his feet if he can get there. And uh, Corey's trying to keep him down. I believe that's the end of the first period. And the score is two to nothing in favor of Corey. Red defers, green down. Either way, son. Benning sets up in the bottom. Don't forget your stalling warning. Let's go. Let's go. Referee is uh, Don Holmes of Benton. That match we were talking about for the possible team championship with Marshalltown in it. Chelsevig from Webster City is now leading five to one, seven to one with about a minute to go in the second period. So they, they can't, neither one of those two teams, Charles City and Marshalltown has won a match in the finals yet. No, it's uh, stayed. Well, Marshalltown won the early one. Marshalltown won the early one, won the right. first one. Now here you see Coon Rapids no, catching no, him on his back. No. John Corey just didn't get him over far enough, but he's still in the leg as long as he keeps that he can continue to drive that and keep uh, Benning from Ackley Geneva from affecting any kind of offense. As long as he stays in between the legs and keeps pressure into him, Benning, all, all Benning can do is keep from going to his back. And he's caught him toward his back, but still not, not enough. To, there's an elbow down. As soon as those elbows go down, you get two near fall points. So the referee signal to the bench that there are two points of a man in control. He now leads four to wrestle. Same here, it's nice. Inside the crotch, lifts up on the leg, drives the arm over, and you look at the elbow. See, as soon as that elbow goes down, there's the other one. As soon as those elbows touch, then it's two points near fall. That's the distance that they're looking for. So now, uh, John Corey from Coon Rapids is leading forward enough. And controlling hard on top. Really has uh, Brian Benny from Ackley Geneva all wrapped up, controlling the arms and the legs, keeping a lot of pressure on him. Use that arm up, get off him, let's go. Let's go underneath, face up. And Chelsvig from Eagle Grove in that uh, triple-A match now is leading 14 to two at the Move end over. of the second let's period. Underneath now, action. So cuts uh, Marshalltown's chances of getting that win that they need to get a state championship for their team. And that two-A match between Friesner of Esterville and Eggers of West Marshall is very close in the second period. It's only 
two to nothing in favor of Eggers. And we're here at 1A between Benning and Corey. Remember now, you both have been warned, gentlemen. Let's cover. There's a, there's there's a coach needle needle coach. Coach. right. Charles Montgomery is head coach. There's only seconds left in this period. Both wrestlers have been warned, as you heard the referee Don Holmes say. End of the period, 4-0 in favor of Corey. He's dominated so far. A technical fall has finally ended that triple-A match. Chelsvig prevents Marshalltown from going into the first place. Well, that's something that Chelsvig's uh, moved from 145 all the way to 167 and gone from double-A to triple-A. So he is, must be a real outstanding athlete. That's what we keep hearing. He's one of those people. One of those gifts, isn't he? Yep. And a lot of them juniors. Here we are, third period at the 1A level. The man in the purple on the left is down by four and has to think of something. But he likes to be on his feet. He feels comfortable here, but he's going to have to get not just the normal takedown route now. He's going to have to be able to get uh, takedown to the back. Or he's going to have to get John Corey warned for stalling a couple times. There's a quick snap down. Spin in behind for two-point takedown. So it's 6 nothing. That's what happens when you feel you have to make those long shots way, way out. He overextended himself, and uh, Corey leads by a half dozen. Well, it's more... Uh, Food for the for the concept of developing good offensive position and posture all the time uh, through uh, fundamentals. Got to be able to go in there with your head and chest up in the air and your hips in underneath. John Corey is doing a good job of keeping young Brian Benning, who's only a sophomore, he's keeping him off balance. He's just never letting him get set up. You know, he, he doesn't let him find him. So he's always chopping on him, Let's go. controlling the wrist, putting pressure on him. Corey was a champion, as we said, two years ago, and then had Take to settle down. for fifth last time. Take him down. And he's not going to settle for fifth now. You know, he's going to settle for second if he keeps wrestling like this. He's been very aggressive in this match. Inside, gentlemen. We have just a few seconds left. Eleven. In fact, get that, son. We're settled at uh, Let's relax. He's gonna tie his three A level. We said. We told time. you. Ready? And there are not very many seconds left at double A. We'll see how close Cover. we get to the end before when this match is over. He's stopped him and now he's picked the knee just in order to try to stay with him, driving in and to him through him. The oh, match is going to end six to nothing. He's absolutely dominated Benning on top. And uh, Brian Benning, only a sophomore, I'm sure he'll be back. But Corey wins his second championship. Coon Rapids wrestler, he goes 34 and nothing in his senior year to win the state title again. John Corey. There are about 12 seconds to go in the double A match where the score is five to nothing in favor of Eric Eggers of West Marshall over Esterville's Mark Friesner. And we're seeing just the last few uh, seconds here with the uh, victor Eric Eggers getting no back points. But he does win, and that gives Wes Marshall another champion. Gives him four more points and moves him up in there in that team race. And they go through with two undefeated wrestlers this year, Kelber and Eggers. Let's give the awards to the wrestlers now at 155 pounds, beginning with a 1A. Presenting and Bob Thompson of Ames, he went 28 and nothing this year. And won his championship match by a bundle. Well, let's go up to 185 now. See what happens. But first, let's get a floor report from Dean Board. In class 2A at 167 pounds, Eric Eggers of West Marshall at State Center came into tonight's championship match unbeaten. He still is. He's the new state champion at that weight. He defeated Mark Friesner of Esterville 5-0. Dick? Okay, Dean. At 3A at 167 pounds, we will have possibility of a three-time state champion. Mark Chelsvig of Webster City won tonight at 167. And 
and last year he won it at 145. He still has another year. Chelsvig looking very impressive as he got the takedown, the near fall early in the match, and went on to win 17 to 2. That, of course, is a technical fall, and you can see how excited that young man is, and all of Webster City is excited for him as well. Back to you, Doug. And how strong he looks, too. Uh, he's one of Vern Hill's wrestlers, and we've heard a lot about him. Chelsvig of Webster City. He'll be back again next year for his senior year. Now let's go to 185. We'll start. We'll watch the 1A match between John, between Don Finch of Brit from some time immemorial. Here is uh, the 167 award group at the Class A level. Presenting the Class 1A 167 pound awards, Coach Rick Sadell of Coon Rapids. Sixth place, Greg Butteris, Lisbon. Fifth place, Kirby Skull, Linville Sully. Fourth place, Doug Effner, Bondurant Ferrar. Third place, Pat Kelly, Britt. Second place, Brian Benning, Ackley, Geneva. And the Class 1A 167-pound champion from Coon Rapids, John Corey. Second title for John Corey. He won it the first time two years ago. It was fifth in his junior season. John Corey, six to nothing winner over Brian Benning of Ackley, Geneva, in his championship match here at Veterans Auditorium tonight. You're watching on Iowa Public Television live. The 19, what year is it? 1986, as I recall. <laughs> well, we're a couple of months in. I ought to be able to get it by now. Center West Marshall. Championships of wrestling. Sixth place, Rodney Sharp, Clarinda. Fifth place, Tom Birchmeyer, Shenandoah. Fourth place, Dan Fossey, Denver. Third place, Stacy Hand, Tama, South Tama County. Second place, Mark Priestner, Esterville. And the 2A 167-pound champion from State Center, West Marshall, Eric Eggers. He was the second champion from West Marshall. Neither he nor Kelber lost a match this year. And Eggers wasn't even scored on in the finals. He was a five to nothing winner over Friesner of Esterville. We're coming up to the AAA top six. Well, that win, that win that for State Center put them into third place ahead of Sheldon. So that was an important win for them. Sixth place, Brian Wolf Bettendorf. Fifth place, Craig Wilwarding, Lewis Central Council Bluffs. Fourth place, Larry Mozina, West Des Moines Dowling. Third place, Kurt Rosenberger, West Des Moines Valley. Second place, Aaron Chambers, Marshalltown. And the 3A 167-pound champion from Webster City, Bart Chelsvig. He is a dandy. He Doug. is. And only a junior. Well, we missed a couple of those 185-pound matches. Let's catch up on them first from Dean Borg. Well, in 2A, Chuck, 